The U.S. involvement in Vietnam began in 1955 and ended in 1975 with the fall of Saigon. The Vietnam War, riddled in confusion, miscommunicated, and bloody, was a long, drawn-out exercise in stubbornness with a heavy price tag of many lost lives from both sides. The Pentagon Papers was a top-secret study that covered the U.S. involvement in Southeast Asia from 1945 all the way to 1967 in the form of a document that expanded over 4,000 pages. The study, finished in 1968, was conducted by Robert S. McNamara, who was Secretary of Defense at the time. The Pentagon Papers were officially called the United States-Vietnam Relations 1945 through 1967, a study prepared by the Department of Defense. This study was top secret. Obviously, it was never meant for the public eye. But of course, since we know about it today, someone had leaked the information at some point. That point was not a quiet leak or even an anonymous one. The world was let in on this little government secret in 1971 on the front quiet page of the New York Times. Daniel Ellsberg, an original contributor to the Pentagon Papers, was the individual who leaked the documents to a New York Times reporter by the name of Neil Sheehan. President Nixon, wasting no time to respond to this, named Neil Ann Ellsberg guilty of treason under the Espionage Act of 1917. Shortly after these papers found themselves in the front page of the New York Times, these papers also found themselves in the Washington Post in 1971. After a long, drawn-out legal debate, the Supreme Court finally ruled in favor of the First Amendment and allowed the papers to be published. Contrary to what the U.S. government was telling the American public about winning the war, the papers actually revealed that the U.S. was losing the war. The papers, going back all the way to the Truman administration, showed how deceptive the presidents were in what they were telling the public and what they were actually planning. Some of the information found within the Pentagon Papers revealed that Harry S. Truman's administration was giving military aid to France in its colonial war against the communist-led Viet Minh, indirectly involving the United States in Vietnam from the very start. The document also revealed that in 1954, President Eisenhower decided to prevent a communist takeover of South Vietnam by the newly formed communist regime of North Vietnam. The papers revealed how the U.S. deliberately expanded its war with the carpet bombing of Cambodia and Laos. The papers revealed that four administrations, from Truman to Johnson, had openly misled the public regarding their true intentions. Johnson, who had decided to expand the war secretly, publicly promised not to. The Pentagon Papers also revealed a memo written by President Johnson listing the reasons why America was staying in Vietnam. At the top of the list was simply to avoid the humiliating defeat of the U.S. Another item on the list was simply to keep the territory, South Vietnam, out of Chinese hands. But ultimately, it was to emerge from the crisis unscathed and untainted by any of the methods used in attempting to win the war. Perhaps the greatest revelation that the Pentagon Papers provided us was the fact that even presidents could lie. Though the U.S. government did try to subdue the media and silence them, the Supreme Court ultimately ruled in favor of the New York Times and the Washington Post, showing that even the relationship between the U.S. government and its people should be one of respect and transparency. After the combat began, the enemy was still fighting. George Sievertson described the battle in one of Saigon's slums. This neighborhood is called Bangkok, or the Czech.